it's Melanie. Welcome back to my channel, I Heart Stitching. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about improv piecing or improv sewing. Um, this is a really fun way to sew or quilt, I guess, technically. Um, but this is a very liberating way of sewing because you just grab and you sew. You have your iron right there and you can just kind of go. Um, it's really fun. You can put some fun music on and it's just kind of this gets the creative juices flowing. You get to see color combinations work with each other. So I'm going to show you all the steps on how I did this block. I filmed the whole process and I'll kind of talk through some of the, you know, different ways that you can go about doing this. It's really totally up to you, which is the awesome thing. Just make it how you want. You want to make a slanted line? Go for it. You want to put a crazy color in there? Do it. You want to add some embellishments? I mean, really, it's a way for you to express your creativity using up your scraps. So if you sew a lot like I do, you probably have scraps everywhere in your sewing area. I do, for sure. Um, so yeah, let's just get going over to the tutorial. I will show you how to make this. Okay, now here are some of the scrap bins that I chose for this project. Um, this is only a few of the ones that I have, um, but these are what I'm going to pull from. And this is the fabric that I'm going to start with. It's going to be my inspiration fabric and it's going to be the center of the block. So be careful when you're picking out scrap fabric. Um, you can see up there at the top I have these little cuts in the fabric that were from the past project that I was working on. So you're going to have to cut those off and just be aware of that when you're pulling out scraps. Make sure that it's pressed and um, ready to be sewn with. Um, so down there at the bottom you can see that it's going to be a 90 degree angle. That black line is going all the way across and 90 degree angles are going to be your friend for this project. So I decided to just continue to cut this down and make it a little bit of a smaller square. Now here I go digging for my next piece. And this is what I chose. So I'm gonna line up those straight edges and sew them together. Use a really good quality like this Superior Threads Masterpiece, 100% cotton thread, that's what I like best. And you are gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance and sew that down. You can see there, there's a nice seam. And then when you are pressing this, you're going to press it right after, have your iron right there next to your cutting table. You're going to press your seam to the outside. So we'll go over that a little bit more in the future too. And then just take your rulers out and cut around it. Now let's pick another piece. Let's go with this argyle. And go ahead and give that a good press and then we're going to line it up on that side of our growing block. So again, using a really good quality thread and a quarter inch seam allowance, head on over to your machine. I had this all on one table, so it was really easy to kind of go from station to station to station and um, work on this block quickly. So again, we're pressing to the outside. You can see toward the outsides of the block, like as we're going, um, that's the best way. And here we go, just trimming it down. Now I'm gonna go crazy and make a slanted line. Ah! So there's that slanted line and here's my next piece and I'm gonna add it to this side of our block. Head on over to your sewing machine and sew that piece down. Then we are going to press. You kind of see the uh, system here, right? Lots of pressing, lots of cutting, but this all works up really quickly. So I'm going to use that slanted line and continue on with that green fabric. Then I'm going to trim the other side and now we're going to pick a orange fabric to add in there. I tried to pick some fall color, some warm tones, um, and don't think too much. Just grab. Grab things out of your bin. If you think too much, I mean, you could, you could audition some fabrics and kind of see how they're looking, but, you know, don't think too much about it. So along that slanted line, here is that orange fabric. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that down. We're going a little wonky here, but see there is my 90 degree angle. So we're still gonna be consistent with that. Now here is another fabric that we're gonna put down there. Some uh, birds and trees and kind of this natural look. And then we're gonna press and trim. So just using that line that I had before, that straight edge, I'm just going to trim these down and then we're going to trim the other side. 
Can you kind of see how this is coming together? Um, it's so kind of quick and easy and uh, just fun to just go, not follow any instructions and just kind of do what you want to do. So now I'm going to use this green, one of my favorite prints actually from uh, Carolyn Friedlander, the collection that she did with this. I can't remember the name of it, but it's so good. I love the, I think it was architectures now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so using that angled line, trimming this down. And then we are going to use a nice big golden yellow piece to put along this kind of slanted line. So it's good to have some bigger pieces like this in your scraps. It's hard to store these in your yardage because they're not really big enough to be yardage. Um, so I just throw them in my scrap bin because I figure I'll use them at some point. Um, so here we go, sewing this all the way down. And then we're going to trim this up. Well, we're going to press it first. So here is it nicely pressed and then we're going to trim this down and then we're going to trim a good portion of this um, yellow off. We're not going to keep it um, this big, big old block of yellow, um, but there's that 90 degree angle there on the bottom, that black line going all the way across. That is your friend. Here we go again, that 90 degree angle, but it was along that slanted line that we made so that's why it has that angled piece. So here I wasn't sure which fabric I was going to pick. Uh, I was kind of looking between those two, the green and the brown, and the green one. So we're going to sew that green down again using a quarter of an inch seam allowance and a nice thread. Um, you can see that stitch, uh, a regular stitch length is fine, about a two and a half. I love how that green pops against the orange, it's so pretty. And then we are going to trim along this straight edge that we already made and then uh, trim along this other straight edge that we made. It's kind of, you can use these uh, lines that you have already done. And then we're gonna trim this green down. I didn't want too big of a green on there. So let's add some of that brown now. I want some more brown in there. So let's add this one in. Head on over to the machine and sew this up. Don't you love how quick this is? Really quick, right? Can you, I can just totally see just like taking an afternoon and getting just lost in the sewing and you know by the end of the afternoon you'll have enough of these done for like a baby size quilt or a lap quilt. Super, super fun. So here we go trimming up that brown and then these Big square rulers are really handy for this kind of thing because you can get a block size and you can trim it down exactly how big you want it. And so it's really handy. They sell these in a kit on Amazon or at Joann's or uh, Walmart. And this is just super handy and makes it really convenient. So here's our block. We are done. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Real quick, I wanna show you two other improv blocks that I have done. This one I did fairly recently. Can you see the bouquet of flowers? But all just done by grabbing colors. You don't wanna to think too much, you just wanna go. You wanna just sew. You can see my grass down here at the bottom and my sunshine up here at the top and I have three flowers with different stems. Um, Mostly, this is kind of uh, loosely based on the Anna Maria Horner Mod Corsage block. I did a blog post on it, so I will link that below over at my blog, iheartstitching.com. Um, so this is one that I did recently. So this is another one that I did recently. This is a tulip pink raccoon with scraps of colors that I just pulled out from this main print. There's these leaves and these little ball shaped things. I'll get a close up photo. Um, Pulled some of those colors out and just sort of improv around it. I made a bunch of them, they're all different sizes. One of these days I'll get around to actually making a few more and putting it into a baby quilt or something. Leave me a comment below, let me know if you have ever improv pieced before, if this helped you, which of these projects was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye!